It seems that one of the major reasons why Marxism has been integrated so heavily into the study of sociology is that Karl Marx believed that society and culture can be viewed in a scientific way, can be viewed in an objective way. The problem with this is that society isn't objective. Culture isn't objective. We can attempt to look at society and culture in, a, in an as non-biased of a way as we possibly can, but it's still not going to be objective. It's like trying to break apart people's emotions as just merely a series of chemical changes. Now we all know that that's bullshit. I mean, yeah, you can break it apart in such ways, but that doesn't have anything to do with how it really affects our thinking patterns or how it affects society at large. As time goes on, we're finding out more and more about how they affect our thinking patterns, how they affect our culture. But we're probably never going to get a completely objective view of it. You know, otherwise we would be a lot further along with psychiatric medications than we currently are. Now maybe sometime we will get a much better view of this. We can hope so. But it still doesn't really describe the complexities of how our emotions affect culture and society at large. As far as I'm concerned, the term social science is about as meaningful as saying religious science. To me, it's kind of an oxymoron. We can look at statistics, class, race, culture, economics, and the statistics associated with them. We can look at capitalism. But to think we can come up with any sort of objective answers or objective conclusion, well, it's, we're just going to be shown as being wrong eventually. It is a study that continues to change in time, and the methods we use to study it continues to change in time. The kind of changes that occur in the way that we study these things goes well beyond what most of science and the scientific method are usually associated with. To me, it doesn't really make that much sense to call the study of society and culture as a science. Now, you can disagree with me all you want, this is just my opinion. You might even claim it's an issue of semantics, and you could be right. In our attempts to look at class and economics and culture in any sort of meaningful way, our opinions will make their way into those studies. We cannot measure these things like we do liquid in a beaker or temperature, or anything that we can make definitive declarations about. To think that we have any sort of objective viewpoint about society is to be so arrogant that we forget that we are promoting some sort of an ideology, or many ideologies. Unfortunately, many of the ways that Marxism tries to break apart culture class, society, and economics is that we need to balance things out via demonization of the majority and the glamorization of the minority. We have the progressive stack, which tries to give everyone a say, but it's not in the order or for how long based on the quality, value, and worth of the idea or ideas they want to present, but by how oppressed they have been deemed to be via Marxist theory. And so as far as I'm concerned, colleges, universities, and professors who wish to promote a Marxist ideology, these Marxist ideas, 
should not be allowed to call these studies sociology, but instead call them Marxism, Marxist studies. For instance, Marxist gender studies, Marxist race studies, and so on. Unfortunately, as time goes on, I understand more and more the types of fears people had even from back in the 50s during McCarthyism of these types of ideals and ideas taking over the mainstream. When Marxism is the methodology that has taken over just about all the ways of studying sociology, to me it is something to be concerned about. I may be making a useless petition on petitions.whitehouse.gov to address this sort of thing. I think the sociology departments at universities and community colleges across the United States should be examined, and if it is found that they are promoting Marxism, and they're unwilling to change that, then those courses need to be appropriately renamed as Marxism instead of sociology. I think we need to hold higher education accountable for what it is teaching. We don't let non-religious universities cram religion down people's throats, and I don't think we should allow those same universities to cram a political or social ideology down people's throats either. But that's my view. Take it or leave it.